Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to do like a stuff I bought recently video. I always really enjoy these videos. I love seeing shit that people buy. So I wanted to do one. So I have some makeup, I have some clothes, some shoes, accessories, etc. Um, disclaimer, I didn't buy this all at once just to make that clear. I don't got it like that, if you will. Um, so these are things I've kind of bought over the past couple months and I'm just now sharing because I'm a horrible YouTuber. I say YouTuber because I'm not really a YouTuber, I just wanna be. And I guess you know what I'm gonna start with is my nails. So I actually just got my nails done, I think it was last weekend. Um, Zany Nails did these. I will link her Instagram in the description box. Um, she did a pop-up at the tattoo shop I go to, Haven Studio in Brooklyn. Um, the studio is appointment only, so I'll also link them below. Um, really great shop. It is run by Jess Valentine and her artist, um, Sophie B. Tattoo. So I'll also link them in the bio, but they did a pop-up for nails. So these are acrylic with gel. Um, I love how they turned out. I had like a design that I had shown her um, of Sammy Jeff Coats, if I'm saying that right. And she kind of put her own spin on them and I absolutely love them. So check her out she's dope um moving on i do have some makeup stuff so i really do love jeffree star cosmetics um my like eyeliner is actually that right now i'm also wearing his lipstick um so i do have a couple things from him a while back he did like a mystery box thing and i honestly think this was around like valentine's day so it's been a minute if you hear that noise it's my door opening and closing because I have the window open and the door doesn't shut all the way so I have a roller skate in front of it right now. <laughs> anyway, um, he did a mystery box and I got one and it was probably the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life. It's super fun um, because it's a surprise and I love surprises. So um, in my mystery box I got the Velour liquid lipstick in watermelon soda. Just kind of a cool like bright pink shade. I also got um, Can't Relate, which I was really excited about because I've seen this online and I really liked it, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. I do have a lip gloss over it, but um, just kind of a nice like neutral lip for my skin tone. And then I got, there was actually another lipstick that I don't have and I'm not getting it, but I got the Shade Clout. Again, horrible YouTuber. And then it also came with this skin frost. I did not realize how big his skin frosts were, but like, bitch. <laughs> Nails are cool until you can't open things. It's huge. Um, I will probably never wear this as a highlighter. I did try it and it was way too dark. Um, but I could probably use it as an eyeshadow or something and it's just a huge thing of highlighter. So I actually want to get one of his highlighters in another color um, that I'll actually wear. And then I also got this little lip ammunition in Jeffree's Girl, which is another pink, but it's more of like a hot pink, which I like. So that's cute. Also, if you hear in the background, my roommate has people over, so you might hear them. Don't mind it. So when Jeffree launched his concealer collection and powder collection, I was like, yes. Um, so I had to get one. Um, so I did get this guy in C1. I actually think it's a little light for me. I have it on today, but I was able to kind of darken it with the powder and with um, like my bronzer and stuff. So I actually think it turned out okay. But just, you know, like he talks about the packaging in his video for it. And it really is beautiful. It really is sturdy. I couldn't get it open because my hands were greasy. So I had to use something to open it. But definitely a really beautiful consistency, a really great line. I love the packaging. I feel like Sailor Moon. Um, so there's that. And then I did also pick up one of the powders. I got the rose powder. Um, it really does smell like cotton candy. I love the smell of it. I also really like the um, consistency of this and the way it looks on the skin. I was a little nervous that I might look a little too like powdery, but I actually think it makes me look nice and like not powdery 
or powder. I do have dry skin, so sometimes powders make me look like shit and I look dead. Um, but I definitely like how this looks on the skin. And then my last Jeffree Star Cosmetics thing is actually what I'm wearing as an eyeliner right now. I bought this um, liquid lipstick a while back. Um, it's in the shade Huntington Peach, and I bought it to use as a lipstick, but I was like, where the fuck am I wearing this? And then I was like, oh, I should use it as an eyeliner, and then I never did. And then today I was like, let's go for it. And I actually really like how it turned out, so thanks, Jeffree Star. I will also say that this goes on really nicely. Um, I usually only use liquid eyeliner. I don't use um, gels or anything like that. But this applied so easily and I really loved it. So I do recommend using his lipsticks as eyeliner. And then um, my last makeup item. I am that bitch that likes Game of Thrones. So I hadn't watched Game of Thrones since like the first or second season. And then I decided to catch up to everyone for the last season. I did it in three weeks. I feel like I killed the game. I feel like I accomplished something. Um, and then Urban Decay came out with this Game of Thrones palette and I felt like I, no, not felt like, I knew that I needed this palette. It is beautiful, it's huge. Um, I think it was $65, which is a lot for a makeup palette, but when you see, you understand why. It was $65 so it has the Iron Throne like a pop out which is so cool and it says never forget what you are the rest of the world will not wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you Tyrion I fucking love Tyrion he's probably my favorite character and then the palette slides out of here um, and this is the palette it has the different houses there is um, the North, House of the Starks, House of Lannister, and House of Targaryen. But really beautiful shades. Um, I got it shipped to my work and my director like stuck his finger in one of the shades and I was like, but really cool, really beautiful. I really love the concept. I um, kind of fell off on Urban Decay. I used to like buy all of their like vice palettes and I really loved them. And then like, I was just kind of over it, but this is like the first palette in a while that I feel like is insane. So I haven't used it yet. I haven't even swatched it besides my director taking a swatch of it, but really excited to use this and I will one day. So moving on to some accessories I purchased recently. Um, I've definitely been into like, kind of like word jewelry like the <laughs> words uh numbers if you will got this necklace so these two necklaces are from vibes scn vibes -ism. um the first one i got was this um 1990 1989 necklace i was born in 1989 i am an old bitch pushing 30 um, so I wear this one layered with a custom one that I got, which was this guy, and it says Rayetta. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my name on there is Rayetta, not like my handle, but like my name. I don't use my real name on anything but Facebook, um, not for any particular reason, just because I feel that way. Um, so I got these. I don't remember the price off the top of my head because I did have a coupon. I will put them in the bottom bar if you want to check these out. I do get sketched out by ordering from like online shops just because I feel like sometimes they can seem sketchy but if I can use like PayPal or something like that and not put my card number in I feel fine about it so I think I used PayPal for these or I did no I used PayPal. <laughs> um, so still in the realm of um, words for jewelry. <laughs> I got a couple rings um, from Snash Jewelry. It was an ad on Instagram, so um, and Instagram gets me. So I, I went to the site and got them. So the first one I got was this ring that says Daddy. Just because obviously I'm a daddy. Um, and then I got this other one that's a little bit smaller that says Meow. Meow. <laughs> when I was in college, that was like my catchphrase. I would always be like, Meow. <laughs> um, so these also were on sale don't remember how much they are but I will link it below um, with prices or what and whatnot so 
there's those. Um, I also the other day went to Buffalo Exchange to sell some stuff and as usual they only took one item. Um, I took a pair of jeans so it's definitely worth it to trade in instead of take the cash because the cash was only 30% of what they're going to sell it for and if you trade it in you get 50% so I think they were going to sell my jeans for $18 so I took the trade in and I got this ring. Just like a pretty ring. I think that I ended up owing a couple dollars on it. Probably not worth $14 or $12 how much I paid, but it's cute. <laughs> I have no friends. Um, the next thing that I have is this ring that, um, so my friend from work is currently a sales rep for a jewelry company called paparazzi so she had a bunch of stuff at work everything's basically five dollars um i was looking on her shop the other day and there's like a couple things that are like 25 um but everything otherwise is five dollars so i got this ring i thought it was super cute um i will link her shop below definitely check it out it's good pricing um can't hate it oh. her name's lisa and she's the sweetest so then my next accessories, I got in an order from Nasty Gal and I got a bunch of stuff from Nasty Gal. So I'm going to use this to transition into finishing jewelry and then going to other stuff. <laughs> so the first, <laughs> I'm such a fucking weirdo. The first thing that I got was this necklace. It's like a layered necklace. Um, it has like a little moon with Jimmy Jams and then there's like a little eye. So I really like um, stuff like this. I love layer jewelry it's cute I think um, everything was 60% off when I ordered so again I'm trash and I don't remember the price but I will definitely link it below I think it's still like six dollars though which is really cheap I also got these neon earrings again 60% off I think they were like six bucks but like these are so freaking cute I love funky accessories, so um, got these because I feel like I can wear them to work with like a blazer and like be an 80s bitch. So these guys. I also got this David Bowie shirt that says Rebel Rebel. Um, because I'm not cool, my favorite David Bowie song is Rebel Rebel. I just think it's a great song. It's so catchy. I just like to put it on and dance around. So I got this shirt. Um, I got it in a medium and I will again put the price below because I don't fucking remember. I also got this skirt, which is a leopard skirt. I didn't realize that it had two slits when I ordered it. Um, this is a size six. Yes, it's a size six. Um, doesn't fit as I expected it to, but when I tried it on, I was PMSing, so maybe it'll fit better now because I'm not anymore. Or I am, but I'm not like bloated as much, so I have to try it on again. But yeah, I just, I've been wanting like a maxi, not maxi, like a midi skirt. Um, I obviously, well not obviously, you don't know. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently had my knees tattooed. Um, and my company has kind of changed up the dress code and made it more accepting of things like that. But I don't necessarily feel comfortable completely yet. Just like letting my knees flap in the wind, so I'm trying to find some like, longer skirts and dresses for summer so that I don't die but also it's really cold in my office in the summer so you never know also from nasty gal I got this um purse it is a like long strap thing where you could take the straps off and just hold it like this um this I do remember the price of because I was like that's more than I would normally pay for something that's 60% off. No, it was really cheap. I'm just being cheap. It was $17. Um, I think this is just so cute. It's not as big as I would like it to be. Like I can basically fit like my wallet and my like teeth care stuff because I have Invisalign um, and like my Metro card and shit. But super cute. I love the print. Um, obviously I'm big into animal prints this season. <laughs> I'm so on trend. Um, great, let's continue with animal prints because I have a fucking bunch. I um, got these guys from Topshop. 
they are leopard print little loafers they're so cute everybody in my office wears loafers and I was like I want to be that girl too so I got these I think these were like forty dollars which is probably normal which is probably more than I would normally spend but I had just gotten my bonus and I was feeling sassy so I bought them my main purpose for going to Topshop was actually to get these shoes these are the Grays Western Mules. Um, I love these, they're so comfortable. I wear them to work all the time. Um, they're easy to walk in. They're very pointy, they're snake print. Okay. Um, I saw, again, Sammy Jeffcoat, who's like my style icon, um, was wearing these, so I talked myself into it. But I, no regrets, these are awesome. They're very cute, they're very comfortable. Um, great for cash, great for like going out. Those I think were like a hundred something dollars. But again, I'll link everything below. <laughs> Continuing on with shoes, because I think that's just what we're into now. I, um, although I hate that Buffalo Exchange never buys any of my stuff, I do frequent there a lot to find stuff. Um, in the city, like it's, you find some good shit there. Like I did get like a helmet lang sweater that I'm not sharing right now because it's over there and I'm not getting it. Um, for like $29 on sale and then I got these guys. These are Jeffrey Campbell, they're booties. Um, these I think were $40, but I just love the bright orange with the sneak print. Not the most comfortable, but very cute. I love them. Um, with like a pair of jeans and a band tee or like a little skirt, who knows? Possibilities are endless, really good price for Jeffrey Campbell. I'm still that bitch that wears Lita's because I don't care that they're not in style anymore. I love Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Another Buffalo Exchange shoe find are these Steve Madden um, kind of platform creeper-ish shoes. I got these to wear to work because they're kind of still like dress shoes. A lot of the guys at work wear dress shoes that are like sneakers but still dress shoes so I felt like I could do it. So I got these guys just living my Spice Girls fantasy. I think these were only $20 and I know at Steve Madden they would be a lot more. They're actually Madden Girl, which is like, you know. Mm. But super cute, love these. I did have them on in my like outfit video that I posted semi recently. Next I got these David Bowie sneakers. Um, I wanted to show the box because it's super fucking cute and I'm never getting rid of it even though it's a box. I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, so these are the special edition bands that they did. Um, just so freaking cute. Very uncomfortable. I definitely have to break them in. I wore them to brunch the other day and I like walked to brunch and I was dying. They tore my feet up, but once I get them broken in, I'm very excited about these. They're just so cute. They have a little bit of a shine to them, if you can see it. Um, uh, yeah, you can see it, bitch. What? <laughs> um, I didn't know they had shine to them because... I wasn't paying attention I just blacked out and bought them online um, but very cute still still love them <laughs> so if you have watched my videos before you know that I got a pair of moxie roller skates for my birthday I love them have I skated a lot no it was winter which in fairness to me not possible to skate in winter because I don't think that there's any shops around here not shops I don't think there's any skating rinks around here um, but also, I am scared. I can skate like around the house, not that I do, because we have new floors and I would never do that. Um, I was yelled at for doing that. Um, but I love roller skates. So I guess I'm kind of collecting them now. So I got these guys, which is another pair of Moxies <laughs> in um, the blue color. I forget what it was called. I got these on Amazon. All of their Moxie skates that are like this style, I forget what, exactly what they're called. I really fucking suck, man. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna take the thing out. These guys are all $149. I got them on Amazon, so I got them with free shipping. The inside is so cute. Um, my driveway is clear today. My roommate does not have his car in the driveway, so I'm thinking about just kind of like taking a spin around the driveway. Um, cause my biggest thing is like, I'm not ready to go on the sidewalk or the street until I know that I can handle myself because I'm not trying to hurt myself or get hit by a car or maybe I am, <laughs> put me out of my misery. So I got those guys in the same family. I got this skate leash from Moxie. Um, it's just like a little thing that you put around your skate. 
skates like one goes here and one goes here and then you carry them just so you know like when I'm on the go I've obviously um, been into neon recently um, this is something very random um, the one I, I came home and there was a box on the porch for me and I had been at kickball because my office was kickball and I was kind of invited but more so invited myself um, and I was like so we we go to kickball and then we go to the bar so I was trashed and I came home and I was like there's a box for me like what did I order and I opened it and it was this pony pillow and there was a note in it from my mom that said I thought you might need a pony pillow <laughs> it's so cute but like so random I don't know what gave my mom the impression that I needed a pony pillow but I fucking love it and I, I literally like was dying and part of that's probably because I was drunk but <laughs> I don't know it's really cute so I wanted to share it also it's really cute that my mom just like randomly sent me a pony pillow <laughs> I know that some of you may be like Frey it's spring and we're going into summer why do you need jackets and I can't tell you why sometimes it's cool at night so I've been <laughs> The next like three things are jackets, so don't judge me. Um, this guy I got at my friend Dan's art show. Um, it's at a gallery called Matted LIC, and it's in Long Island City. Um, and I saw this jacket and I was like, you belong to me. So um, the lady who runs the shop, Donna, is really nice. Um, she's a great lady and she gave me 20% off. So I think it was... They take the price off I think it was like 75 and I ended up getting it for 60 and then um, we have again Sammy Jocko my style icon she um, says like oh I have this and it's cute and then I go out and buy it because that's how I feel um, so I did get this and Anders jacket from um, All Saints it's just like a cropped denim jacket, but the sleeves are like a sweatshirt material. It's kind of like a cool oversized vibe. Um, so this jacket is 150, but I got it at Bloomingdale's and I had a couple rewards. So um, I felt less bad about it. And then I went back and got it in another color. So <laughs> this is the Andrews jacket in the denim with the gray sleeves. I wear these all the friggin time um, it's usually cooler in the morning so I wear them to work and then like if it's chilly at night I just kind of throw it on but just oh my god I love these jackets these were also in my outfit video that I posted a tractor drove by tractor trailer there's no tractors in New York City um, also since I've gotten my knees tattooed I have been all about jeans with holes in the knees so that you can see my knee tattoos. So these I got at Forever 21. Um, they were on sale. Again, I'll have to look up the price and I'll link it below, but I got them for pretty cheap, so. Stop focusing. Am I just this pale? Is this what I look like? honorable mention um i buy a lot of shit from american eagle i love american eagle i get a lot of jeans there um i did get a pair of jeans with like holes in the knees from there too which was in my outfit video so i felt like i didn't need to show those again um but while i got those i also got this nirvana um sweatshirt just kind of lightweight cute um comfy it's hard to find like nirvana shit for like a good price i feel like i always get a lot of like rolling stones Rolling Stones. Um, I own like 50 Rolling Stones t-shirts. Um, ACDC, shit like that are so much easier to find for a good price than Nirvana and like I get it. Honorable mention, I got this Bob Dylan t-shirt from uh, Poshmark. It's probably the comfiest shirt I've ever worn in my life and it's my new go-to. Um, so next I have some Target things. Whenever I go to South Jersey to visit my best friend, I, we go to Target. It's just like a tradition. And I spend money on a bunch of shit. It's the usual vibe where you go to Target and you black out. 
this actually I didn't get in South Jersey. This I got in Queens. But we're on target, so let's just keep it moving, bitch. Um, so I got this shirt. It is from Bridesmaids, and it says, I'm ready to party. So this is like when she's on the plane and she's on the drugs. Um, I feel that Target doesn't understand how to size their t-shirts because this is in the size rubbed off because I washed it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is like an extra large. And this to me is like a medium large, unless I'm just grossly unaware of how sizing works. Um, I think that's very small for an extra large. $3. Do I need this? Absolutely. I also got this candle um, for three dollars. So just a cute little candle. Smells delicious. It's supposed to smell like roses, I think, which it doesn't. But it smells good. Um, and then I got these denim shorts. Oh, excuse me. Just like acid wash denim shorts. Um, they are by wild feeble i always get my acid wash stuff from them i got a medium i feel like they're a little big in some places but i have a gigantic ass and big hips so it fits there um but it's very they're very stretchy um i feel like if i belt them they fit around my waist okay on a on a chubbier day they fit my waist perfect but i also feel like i get a poop up but whatever it's fine um so these were i think twenty dollars and then, going back to my neon fantasy, I got these biker shorts. These were only $10. Just uh, out here vibing. I will say that they are a little bit sheer, um, which I was not planning on. These are a size small. I usually feel like in a fabric like this, I can do a small, but I don't feel like they wouldn't have been not sheer if I'd got a medium. Like, I feel like the fabric is just sheer, so. But I just summer's coming and I'm ready and then the um last thing that I bought which I posted on my Instagram story is this Ouija board I got it from Amazon for $20 I want to say not exactly what I was expecting it's a little bit more hokey than I was thinking um like I was picturing like the old school kind of Ouija board but like I feel like this is kind of weird like it's big like the letters are big like I feel like the letters on an old school one aren't that big and then the fucking planchette is huge so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like summon the spirits with this thing because it's a little like hokey oh, shit. but we'll find out I guess so that is all I have for you today those are all the things that I've bought recently and I will probably continue to buy things. So if you are interested in these videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Cause I only have a few subscribers and it's depressing. Great, this has been real, bye.